What up, it's Esteban, and today we're hanging out with Big Frida. You better you believe her. Feeling good. Fuse family member. Yes, yes. Speaking of which, we got to talk about the second season. I have been working on this for the last 13 years nonstop, but I feel like it's all starting to come together now. Season two. You already know. So congratulations. Well, thank you. On that first and foremost. But very excited. What can we expect from season two? Uh, season two is very detailed. We're having some really fun adventures, some rough times, some really personal moments. <laughs> also, this season um, is actually the season where um, I lose my mom. So it's really dear and special right. to me. So, I mean, season one was a huge success. At the same time, you know, you let a lot in. You let a lot out, rather, for your fans to see. Yeah, I did. So, was there any, like, you know, we just going let a, season two? We let like, a little bit more out, and uh, we just kept it real. No detailed scripts. We just wanted to, you know, let them follow my life and all of the journeys in Frida's life. <laughs> now, you know, that that the success of that stage the success of uh, Bounce Music, all of the work that you've put in has now led up to this album. Yes, very excited. Now, did all of these new things, you know, were they all at all into play when you were making this album? This now new stage, new platform, new attention? Um, yeah, we definitely, you know, the timing was, we were waiting on the right timing to, to drop everything. We definitely had it in the plan, though. Okay. We've been putting a schedule together and trying to make sure that everything comes out kind of around the same time to map it out, to utilize what I have, my sources, to make it the best of it. And um, perfect timing for the album. New wow. season, new album, you know, new heights and new fans. And we're just trying to make sure that we take bounce as far as we can. So talk about the album and the process of making it. Was it all done in New Orleans, mostly the same producer? How did that work? Um, it was a collaboration of from New Orleans to Oakland, um, back and forth. Uh, my manager name is based in Oakland and her husband with the, um, the big studio. And my producer is just based in New Orleans. So we kind of was going back and forth using the big studio. It was fun. It was back and forth traveling in the process of also taking care of my mom taking care of my fam, um, traveling, doing shows. So it was a lot. It probably was one of the toughest, the toughest, um, you know, albums to create with what was all going on with my mom. But um, I pushed through it. Is this going to be a little more crossover or is this going to be true bounce music? And I was very, very pleased to know that you kept it to the root. So why did you decide to, you know, why do you decide to go that route? It's my first album to the world, and I wanted people to feel what I've been doing. That's, you know, the same thing. I didn't really want to change it. Um, that's why I really didn't do any collaborations. People was like, oh, get this person, get that right. person. I was like, no, I want people to feel and hear only me. This is my album. I want to not ride off of anyone else's coattail. I want it to be just me and about me. And whatever I was feeling, whatever I went through, in the process of making this album, I did it all on my own and made it happen. All right, so we gotta play some of these records. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Dangerous. Everywhere we go is dangerous. Everybody and this is how the album dangerous. starts. This is the first dangerous. record. Dangerous. Shake, we gonna work, not kill yourself. Shake, we gonna work, not kill yourself. She don't need no help. She don't need no help. Now, when you're in the studio, and like, you know, you and the producer kind of going through the motions, a beat catches your attention, you gotta start writing. Is there a point in the process where you hit, where you like, you know you hit a home run with this record? Like, yeah, definitely. You get a feeling and you get so excited in there, you be like, this gonna be the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you definitely get a feeling in a studio when you know you've created something that people can feel. When you're satisfied, then you know that you can satisfy other people. And that's my process. When I'm satisfied and I know that I'm happy and I've gave it my all, I know that my fans are gonna love it, you know, and they'll connect with me. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, I was feeling it this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. 
I definitely was feeling it when I made this one. And um, like I said, it's basically self-explanatory. You know, some of the things I was going through, I just wanted to release them. And when I get on that stage, I, you know, unleash my belt and make it go. <laughs> right, that's it. I can see the whole club. I, every time I hit play, I see the whole club. <laughs> Absolutely. Also, when I hear this, I can hear like so many like DJs and other genres like wanting to like gravitate yeah. to this and like doing their own mix. They will be able to. We're gonna definitely send out the acapella Yeah. Oh my and god. And let DJs do whatever they want to do. With it. Right. I can't wait to hear like like a Diplo or somebody. Yeah, definitely. Skrillex, Diplo, right. all the remixes, it's coming. Right. Now, on the remixes, I may have a few collaborations. Okay. Like the first initial album, I didn't want, but the remixes, I may have a few people step in, and we're working on that now. Right. There's no one track that we do is the same. We're gonna chop it up some type of different way. We're gonna put a different feeling into it. Just the horns and the intro. You think I'm about to play with them. Right. You know, right. like... It's so bright, but the yeah, energy is The energy is like... What is your experience and your connection with that city? And now, especially since you've traveled all over the world and have received love. What is it about that New Orleans love? It's just the people. It's, it's, it's a family-oriented city. You know, all of it gets a lot of love, a lot of support. And it's just that feeling, that home feeling. It's that southern hospitality, like you said. But I get the feeling in having conversations with you about bounce music that you have a sense of responsibility to the genre. I do. Of uh, putting it on the map. It's bigger than freedom. Yeah, it is. It's about the culture. It's about putting New Orleans on the map as a whole. And then myself and my team, of course. It's a bigger picture than just me. It's a, it's something I'm representing for my whole city. The way it's on my show yes. is to make sure everything is done and properly in decency and in order. And all eyes is on Frida. I've worked really hard and all I did was really just been consistent, I didn't change anything different, and I continue to just be free. Yeah.